Here we go right now. We are going to show our new MMT enrollees, and those are market maker traders. And this is a market maker school, and this is Priceline. And what they're learning is the two teeny, two teeny consolidation in price, one teeny up or one teeny down in price. But what happens in these events? One of two things happen, as they were told. When you're in this two teeny consolidation, the lower end being support and the top end, and then in the middle, which means that in our system, to gauge the price. If it's descending in value, it's weak. But one of two things happen. Either you pop up real big or here is the perfect uh, what I'm talking about. You go down. So either you get a big green bar right above here, just the opposite of this one. And that would be the breakout of the mathematical consolidation range in here. And price line right now. Over here is burning a 65 IR. It's 89 cents per teeny line. And I'm printing 1.16 ratio that equals 18.55 teenies, which equals $16.53. How do you like that? And that's the SMF exchange model. That's what we do. And basically addresses high frequency algorithmic programs that are used to buy and sell. And rather, what happens is they're very mathematically bound, and we do have them. And then when the ratios descend in value, you break down from that two teeny consolidation range. Mathematically, 89 times 2. Yes, when this was at 1.44, Priceline was at its all-time intraday high of 659 year. Okay. And this is the public spread between the bid and ask. And this is the bid and ask ratio, market maker one. And what new MMTs have enjoyed learning is this is the bid and ask public. This is the spread. Now, if they buy the ask, this will go up in math, ascending in value. But if they print over here on the bid of that spread, then this will descend in value, which will get another red bar but right now on very very light volume with these kind of price spreads and you can see that these are the bid and ask ranges look at how wide the ranges are these are 83 cents right here look so the public which is a, a, a very rare person see how we're making those lower lows right now but see how it comes right back in here where these diamonds are but what I really want to teach people is that you apply. See how that is at 112? And you can see why the price is going down here, MMT. Now it's at 109. You see how it popped to 113, and you still have this color here now. But once again, what we look for is descending value in the teeny value range, meaning that price goes this way. When price goes this way, prices get made, and they get made right here in this bid and ask range. And there's that public spread. You can see that. It is a high algorithmic program that will sell over on the bid by the ask or cut that value in half and sell in the bid and the ask. And that's how you get these mathematical lines. But each one of these lines are $1.89. We know that if this goes down in value again toward 1.00, we know that the red bar will be down here in price line. But at some time, from its intraday high, you can see the bid and ask here. It's 52 cents wide. All right, and if you take a look at the three minute volume bar, it's only 7,700 shares, 7,709 right here, right here, down here in the bottom of this video where my pointer is. Mm -hmm. That's that three minute volume right there. And he's not breaking below 55 and he's holding this 1.13. That lower teeny line, he came down on almost another two teenies, 89 pennies times two reversal. Half bar resistance level is right here. This is half of that bar. It's at 655.30 cents right now, MMT. That's why it came up there. But if he buys that spread, see the spread? That's, that's a spread. And what happens in these spreads, as you can see, price line, you can see what it looks like here in a level two. The public will never be able to know what's going on in here. They've got all kinds of different ways of doing things in here. Your mind will just go crazy trying to figure it out. So what you really need is we'll go back to the uh, price line chart. And I'll pull this down here just a little bit. 
And you can see that bit in that ask right there. And sometimes they change in milliseconds. Sometimes ours changes ahead of them because we know that they're going to go there on the ask, like it's at four cents. Ours is going to show six cents up there. But that puts a spread. If they buy this side, then guess what they're doing? They're buying the ask. And what does that mean? 1.14 ratio goes up toward this number. We'll go up toward 1.1, let's say 1.9 and above 1.22, this number right here. And it would be going toward this in value. But if he, if he prints this side at 46 cents, then this value will come down. It will not lag price. So once again, MMT, the moral to the story, as you're in your 12-month program or your 90-day program, uh, will take people for 90 days under certain kind of circumstances. Uh, just remember that you have to get used to manually submission orders, placing your orders. Here is the script. Here is a two teeny drop. That means that this half bar right here is going to have the wall of resistance where these wicks mathematically but look at him come right back up above these diamonds. If he closes above this diamond that means that this thing is turning. And what does that mean right here? It means that this is at 1.17. That's why it's going up in price just like I told you when it was at 1.13 in this video now. And we know that the price isn't lagging, but we also know it's only 89 cents in here. And the public price spread is 37 cents now. And how do you manage through here? And not only that, we teach you how to trade 100 shares, 1,000 shares, or whatever your buying power is. We will allocate you buying power to your signed account. And if you want to move in the market making division, that is where making intraday movements with high frequency algorithmic machines. It's just that we have a mathematical equation that doesn't lie to us. And, and we know that the last print was here. Um, we know that once again, he's printing 75 pennies by 95 pennies. But uh, the real market spread is uh, 39 pennies. No matter what. And our bidding, you know, because they run in different sequences on different servers. So, once again, by having that math and understanding, whenever you have a put option now, you have to have at least a one teeny drop. This was two teenies drop right here at 89 cents times two. That's what that red bar is. And he almost got down here to three. It doesn't matter, but he got to the bottom. But now he's turned and he's in the middle of the range at resistance of this half bar. And this half bar right here, my friends, is exactly 655.30. He has to consolidate above it on a closing intraday morning level to validate the bottom. And this here must go toward 85 to 90. And this has got to go back up toward the 125 ratio at least and higher. But how do you know intraday when they break down out of that two teeny consolidation, it's, they break down like this or they can break out to the upside like this. Just the opposite. You can have a green bar just like that. And it, the two teenies, when it broke the two teeny consolidation range over here, let's go back to it again. Here we are, MMT. So we know that this was that range. This was a two teeny range. But when it broke out on, on the price line, what we wanted to really cap off here with the MMT was mathematical two teeny range with the bid and ask in a high frequency uh, mathematical buy and sell script and how they work. And then when they descend in value and they go down, you make money. And then when they turn, you can see where your resistance levels are going to be on this big half bar. But notice it was two teenies times 89 cent reversal. That's dropping out of this two teeny consolidation. They can also have a green bar above it, two teeny breakout, and continue to go higher. That's the other side of it. But only one of two are going to happen. And the only way that they're going to be validated, once again, is by looking down here in your IR gauge. It's at 63. 
you can take a look right now that your current ratio is at 1.15 that's what I've been showing the MMTs here when this goes down in value price gets weak this has to go up above again it has to go ascending in a TR ratio and they have to buy the public spread the high frequency buy scripts have to do this in order they have to buy this side over here of the market they have to buy that spread or higher and see how it goes to 118 in the video and you see how the candle goes up that's because those last prints were right here and how do you understand or how would you apply applicably to a high frequency tape on what it really means mathematically who's really in con who's really in control of your buy and sell movements on your intraday level how do you gauge them you're at 68 here this is at 118 now take a look it's right here when it goes up toward 120 that's why that price goes up and when this number goes up and they work together then you don't lag standard technical analysis does that's why we're here to empower you and we do have trading programs we have our equities and our options side both market makers and both pits and what can you do you learn how to do this price line makes a lot of money even if you're trading 100 shares enter day that's you know what it is and you can have buying power we'll help you out with it and then we'll teach you how to use the platform and I'll direct you just like I'm doing live here in the market right now you can see the math you can see the bid and ask you can see the spread you can see everything that we're talking about in this video is working and the whole thing was a two teeny range consolidation either break down in value or break up in value price line is doing quite well and it's interday pullback and this is going toward 120 and higher and that's why you're going up the same penny increment mathematically within the actual buy and sell script so the software buys this side of the print of the spread humans are not in here just buying price line okay they're extinct and they have these programs that will buy and sell in the bid and ask ranges but the MMT platform shows you here at 1.19 mathematically and it's 89 cents a line look at how accurate it is it doesn't lie but what is the wall of resistance it's going to be the half bar right here we know what this half bar is this half bar is 655.30 and look at the bid it's right there 655.30 on the ass that's half of that breakdown two teeny breakdown of the two teeny long term two teeny consolidation 89 times two up and down and when you break it you do break down the qualifier is two teenies to validate the price but once you hit the bottom and this doesn't go lower and this is elevated and they're buying this side of the market that's how you get these price ranges to hold their stability intraday and that if you can separate the emotion and understand how to maneuver or operate within their mathematical scripts within the actual bid and ask ranges you can go a very long ways intraday every day but you must understand what these patterns are going to do MMTs and this video right here is for any MMT coming here is is that the lines per 1 16th in our system are 89 cents per line listen it's that accurate it's two teeny ranges and price line uh, as accurate as we are in these two teeny drops like this that's the reversal there are also breakouts I'm going to conclude the two teeny consolidation mathematical range in high frequency algorithmic buy and sell programs in the broader exchange model and this is on Priceline right here intraday today's date is 1 3 of 2012 happy new year the time is 8 35 we've been open for two hours and five minutes we have eleven dollar and eighty one penny range intraday with a closing bell of a 638 but look at the gap look at the gap 647 was the low and 659 is the high and that's called a runaway gap 
And once again, in our next segment with our new MMTs, we'll be talking about how you will be trained as a market maker when you gap up, and this will be the gap trading seminar, is a runaway gap. How do I identify a runaway gap when I buy it to go up versus a runaway gap that slightly goes up and sells and then comes all the way back down? And you know exactly what I'm talking about and you're, you're trapped in the reversal. No, we won't let that happen because when you learn how to operate the MMT operating panel down here and what the equations understand these equations, you'll understand how we broke down in that two teeny range mathematically and how we put in the bottom and it's been a very good day.